Alright guys, here's a quick review of the Enola 3805. Or is it the movement revolver? So let's get into that straight away. Like I said, as far as I can tell, this is exactly the same, by the branding obviously, to the movement revolver, which sells on their website for about £130. I picked this one up on AliExpress for £10. It's got the same quartz Miota movement, same design with that recessed logo. Obviously this one being the Enola branded one, so it has their logo as opposed to the movement one. But everything else, as far as I can tell, is identical. That being said, for the price I paid, obviously, it's not a bad watch. But I definitely wouldn't be paying £130 for it. So if anyone's interested in picking up a movement watch, you definitely want to check this one out instead. Save yourself a lot of money and get something pretty much identical. So, get on to the watch itself. As you can see, this actually has applied indices, which is a nice touch considering the price. And then you've got that blue second hand as well, which just adds a little something, because otherwise it is a really minimalistic design. The handset's quite nice though. Albeit, I think it is slightly small for the size of the watch. But other than that, overall, I think it looks quite good. It's got a nice onion crown. Not signed, but at the price, you don't really expect it to be. So, pretty simple case. Just polished all over. We've actually got a dome crystal on there. And like I say, it is quite a nice recessed logo design. Same as the movement one. I actually think this one looks better, to be honest, because I prefer the Enola logo. But I do like the way the light catches the applied indices. Definitely looks good for a £10 watch. As for the rest of the case, as you can see it's got nice curved lugs, so it conforms to the wrist well. The strap on this is actually surprisingly comfy. It says it's genuine leather, whether it is or not, I'm not 100% sure to be honest. But it is very comfortable, only a little bit of stitching on it, but it's done well. So no issues quality wise. It's actually got a signed buckle as well, which is... A surprise at the price. I've got a lot of watches that are more expensive than this that don't even have a sign buckle. So that is a nice touch. So let's get straight on to the measurements. So we've got a thickness of about 12mm. Then we've got a diameter of about 41 with a lug width of 22. And then we've got a lug to lug of about 47. So when it comes to some fashion watches, they tend to be a little on the large side I've found. So this one's quite nice, not too big. So I'm not actually going to bother doing the diamond selector 2 test on this because on a watch this cheap, there's no way it's going to have sapphire. And I have actually tested it before. And also, the battery's actually run out on my diamond selector, which is a little bit annoying. And I don't actually have a spare one at the moment. But believe me, I have actually tested it. And it doesn't have sapphire. So it's just a mineral crystal. But it's to be expected at this price. So, all that's left to do now is show you on wrist. So, this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. It does actually look quite good. I'm really surprised. For the price, I wasn't expecting a lot at all, to be honest. And I do quite like the fact that it's got a nice recessed dial as well, as well as the recessed logo. Just adds a little bit of depth to it. It does look good. Like I say, with the applied indices, they catch light nicely. The hands don't look too bad, although I do still think they are slightly too short, especially the hour one. But on the whole, can't really complain for £10. And like I say, the strap is really comfortable. Whether it is genuine leather or not, it says it is, but I'm not really too bothered either way. Because you can't really argue for £10. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.